I'm Only Bell, and you are watching Medallions Making It Happen. I'm the founder and CEO of Black Girl Ventures, and we are a proud Medallion partner. Today, my guest, I'm so excited to talk to her, is Megan Williams, the Principal CX Advisor at Medallia. Welcome to the show, Megan. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Okay. You could be doing anything in the world. You could be selling the seven seas. You could be building robots in Silicon Valley. You could be joining the Peace Corps. What do you do at Medallia and why? What's your why? I love that question. And I think all of those examples are probably more exciting, but all just slightly more exciting than what I do. <laughs> tell you. So my 30 second explanation of my role, because I could take the whole time talking about it is, you know, we've got the technology, we have the dashboards, but you really have to bring the people and the process to the data to really make any kind of movement. And that's what the CX and EX advisors at Medallia do. We're all, most of us are former practitioners. So we've run our own programs at businesses. So we really just bring the, okay, here's how you actually make the magic and, and make changes with the data. And my why, why, I, why I'm at Medallia. So I was a customer for five years and the whole time I was a customer, I said, it cannot be that cool to work at Medallia. Like they all make it look really, right? Can't really, it cannot. And then I came over here and I said, okay, nope, I was wrong. It really is. Everyone can show up exactly who they are. Everyone is embraced. I mean, I'm wearing my all belong here and it's so true. It really is true. So my cup gets filled every day. Um, and that's definitely why I love being at Medallia. You making me want to come work at uh, Medallia. Well, Wait you. a minute. We'd love to have you. Well, we're working with Medallia. Yes. That's also pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so CX is a company's foundation of their success. So outside of standards and protocols and some of the things you mentioned that you follow internally, what is your approach to the work that you do? So there's a bunch of us CX advisors, right? There's, I don't know how many there are, 20 or so. And it's funny, we've all found there really isn't one way of doing any of the things that we do, right? So we could sit down and like I sat down with folks from your team and said, okay, we have some standard best practices, but I have to understand you and what you're personally looking for and what your company's goals are. And then we layer on to that, right? So I can't say, every single time a CX strategy needs to be about improving revenue. That might not be your corporate objective, right? And I know for Black Girl Ventures, that's that's about entrepreneurship and ensuring successful entrepreneurship, right? So, okay, our CX strategies that we're gonna help you build and take action on have to be in support of what you're doing, right? So it's not me dictating thought leadership to my clients, it's understanding them like on the human level, understanding what they're after and then layering on that corporate objective. And then we just say, okay, here's how you can use listening to your customers to get what you're trying to do. And hopefully listening to their customers is part of what they're trying to do anyway. So some of your, uh, your work is mainly as a CX advisor focused on the external experience. Tell me a little bit about teamwork yeah. and like, what do you think, uh, how can medallions be looking at their day-to-day been a team player, what it means to get like truly engaged and what they want to see from their work at Medallia. I love that question. So there's a member of my team who created this uh, content called Service Culture Fundamentals. And initially it was intended to be external facing. And as we were, I'll name drop her, Sandra Story, she's phenomenal. And as we were talking about the content, we said, wait a minute, <laughs> we could utilize this at Medallia, right? So we created a, an internal Medallia version of this service culture fundamentals, which is essentially how do you show up for your customers? And one of the primary pillars was a team of we, right? So we have what we call a racy model, roles, accountability. I forget what it stands for, right? Everybody has it. And so the concept really is, okay, that applies. But when you have the capacity and when you have the ability step in and help whether or not it's your job to do it, right? And so I think for CX advisors, that's very natural for us to do. We step in and help for a lot of different things that are quote unquote, not our job, because it's just ingrained that it doesn't matter. There's a customer who's waiting for something, right? And so I think that's something that a lot of medallions who took that training, they've come back to us and said, wow, that really resonated. Like we really, it's like you take that moment of pause when you're kind of having 
not contentious, but you're having that, oh, that's not really my job vibe to your response. Like, let's pause and say, wait a minute, that may not be my job, but I have the ability to do it in the capacity. So let me just jump in and do it for the benefit of the customer. So for me, that would be, that would be a big one. Oh, I love that. What do you want medallions to know about the importance of leveraging their CX skills for good? Well, I would like for them to remember that as much as like, especially let's say if, if I'm an analyst who's building the technology, like the people who are a lot smarter than I am, right. Who are actually building the technology that even though they may not always directly talk to the end customer, they're still impacting the customer. Right. And for any company I have said, the folks that you really want to get to buy in to CX are the ones who don't already talk to the customers because the people who do talk to the customers, trust me, they get it. They get why it matters. They're already listening to the customers. They already have so much insights that they could give you that customers have given them. It's the back office people. It's the folks who handle compliance and you know, you, you name it, the, the people who aren't really touching the customer, right? So at Medallia, it's, when when someone who is customer facing is waiting for you to help resolve an issue or answer a question just have that same sense of urgency as if you were dealing with the end customer wow this has been extremely helpful like even for me and and i'm a medallia partner so i can imagine that medallions watching this are going to really really get a lot out of it thank you so much for joining me megan uh we love to have you here at the show I hope you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy oh, it? Oh, I did. Thanks. Right. I have me back eventually, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, of course we will. Of course we will. We want to hear more. This is Only Bell signing off. And remember, when it comes to making change in the world, there's two types of people, people who are letting it happen, people who are making it happen. And this is Medallions Making It Happen. We'll see you next time.